Welcome back, little ones. How are you today? Hi, family. God bless you all. Glad you can make it back for another story. We'll be on story number 22, best friends. Uh, God is our Heavenly Father. He loves us. He created us all, and He created everything that you see. So we thank Heavenly Father God. Thank you, Father God, for our families and our loved ones. We say thank you. And um, I love you all with the love of the Lord, and I'll get right to the story. Story number 22. Best friends. David came to stay at the palace after he killed the giant. King Saul had a son, Prince Jonathan. Jonathan was brave, and he was kind. As soon as they met, Jonathan and David were friends, best friends. They promised to be best friends forever. King Saul had bad moods, and David cheered him up. Every day, David played his harp and sang for the king. Be full of joy. Sing happy songs. Never forget that the Lord God made us. We belong to him. We are his people. God is good, and he loves us forever. Suddenly, the king threw his spear at David. He only just escaped. The king was jealous of David. David was a hero because he had killed Goliath, the giant. Remember yesterday's story, David and the giant? People loved David more than they loved King Saul. King Saul was so jealous. He wanted to hurt David. Jonathan was worried. And I told you guys before, jealous, jealousy is something bad. It's a sin. You're not supposed to be jealous of other people. You're supposed to be happy for other people, not jealous of them. And back to the story. Jonathan was worried. Why do you want to hurt my friend David? Jonathan asked his father. Didn't he fight Goliath for you? He might have been killed. The king was ashamed of himself. You are right, he said. I won't hate to hurt David. I promise. But one day, King Saul threw his spear at David again. That night, David escaped from the palace. David's place at the table was empty. Where is he? asked the king. He's gone away, said Jonathan. King Saul did not like Jonathan taking sides with David. He flew into a rage. Jonathan went to the friend's secret meeting place. The king really means to hurt you, he said to David. You must go right away. It's not safe to come back. They hugged and cried as they stood, as they said goodbye. They could not be together now, but they were still best friends, and they stayed best friends forever. The end. I thank you all for coming back to read the stories. Thank you, little ones. Thank you, family members. I love you all. Um, tomorrow we'll be back, God's willing, to story number 23, The Outlaw. Well, you all have yourself a blessed day, and thank you for coming back for the story. And I love you all with the love of the Lord. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.